Open the lockout device and place it over the gate valve handle. Close the device securely over the handle. Insert the lock through any of the holes to secure in the locked position. The adjustable feature allows the lockout device to accommodate valves from 1 inch to 6.5 inches in size. Run the cable through the energy isolating device to be locked out. In this case, the cable lockout is being used to lock out a gate valve. With the trigger released, insert the cable through the all-purpose cable lockout and pull tight. Compress the trigger to lock the cable in place. Insert the padlock through one of the holes in the trigger to secure in the locked position. Insert the cable through the cable hole in the universal valve lockout and pull the cable through. Compress the hand wheel and slide the clamp onto the valve handle. Pull the cable to remove any slack. Then turn the hand wheel clockwise, tightening both the clamp and the cable. Insert the padlock through the locking hole to secure in the locked position. Slide the pneumatic lockout device onto the male end of the quick disconnect fitting. Three sizes of fittings can be accommodated. Insert the padlock into the appropriate hole next to the air fitting entry point and attach the worker's tag. Be sure to use the correct lockout opening for the diameter of the shackle on the padlock. Check to make sure that the lockout device cannot be removed with the lock in place. Route the cable through all associated devices to be locked out. Then with the trigger released, insert the cable through the lockout device body. Compress the trigger to lock the cable in place. Insert the lock with worker's tag to the locking hole to secure the trigger in the locked position. Compress the hand wheel to open the clamp and slide the universal valve lockout onto the butterfly handle between the trigger and the handle. Turn the hand wheel clockwise to tighten for a secure fit. Insert the padlock through the locking hole to secure in the locked position. Compress the hand wheel to open the clamp and slide the universal valve lockout onto the valve handle. Rotate the blocking arm against the pipe in the direction of the valve rotation. Turn the hand wheel clockwise, tightening both the clamp and the blocking arm. Finally, insert the padlock through the locking hole to secure in the locked position. Slip the lockout device onto the handle as far as possible, making sure that the device tab is over the angled portion of the handle. Squeeze the handle and lockout device together and insert the lock with worker's tag into the hole that provides the tightest fit. Make sure the tab is against the valve handle and that the lower paddle is touching the valve body or pipe. Turn the gate valve to the closed position. Open the lockout device and place it over the gate valve handle. Attach the padlock and worker's tag. This device is available in several sizes and by using the knockout feature, this device can also accommodate rising stem gate valves.